very good morning to you. Uh, just gone 11 o'clock. We've been up the allotment since 8 o'clock this morning. Um, it is really hot outside. Um, it's about 25 degrees at the minute and they're saying it's supposed to go up to 28. Um, so we're not doing much. We're pottering about in the shed. Uh, we're here. It's made. I do apologise that I didn't get um, videos of the whole construction. Um, not sure what happened, my camera was playing up and couldn't afford to get a new one. Um, but we're in the shed and it's really, really hot in here. It really is. I've got a damp rag here just mopping my brow because it is really hot. Um, so I'm going to give you a little tour of the shed. Um, it's a little bit of a mess. I have tidied up somewhat. Um, but I'm going to get you up here and we're going to go and have a look around the shed and the plot. Um, I've not found my stand out yet. Um, I think it's in the other shed that I'm clearing. Um, so it's going to be a little bit shaky here and there, but I'll try not to do too much. Let's go. Okay, so let's... Okay, so here we are outside the shed. There you go, look, there's me uh, warning zombies inside sign. I've uh, sprayed up this window here to tie in with the shed. Um, looking good, so let's go inside. It's really sunny, I can hardly see. So, got loads of artificial grass. As I say, I'm doing that for my uh, paths. Uh, behind all this, there's a, um, a container there with loads of wood in. Um, we've got a little window here at the back just to try and let some airflow come in and a bit more light. Uh, we've got two racking systems um, here and here. They're a bit of a mess at the moment because I'm taking everything out. We've got a workbench. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it's a little bit high, um, but I'm, I'm quite tall. I'm six foot four, so it's pretty good actually. My storage underneath, which is good. Um, there's my power tools. I take them home every night with me. I don't leave them here, even though the shed is secure. Um, yeah, so I've got me a little rack up here for my tea, coffee and sugar. Um, this is going just up there for my cups and everything. Uh, here's the cooker. Uh, bear with me a sec. Oh, it's really warm. I'm sweating. It's rolling in my eyes. Let me just get wreck it. So yeah, so there's the cooker. Uh, that's not going to stay there because I am going to have another bench coming out here um, eventually. Put a bit of netting up at the windows. Stop anyone seeing. Um, I got this light here. Um, it really does light up. The shed really nice. Um, I'll put a picture on now that I took the other night. As you can see, um, it puts quite a bit of light out. Uh, I harvested my potatoes. Um, oh, I shouldn't be on there, but we've got all them, some quite big ones there, and we've got a big bucket here as well. So, yeah, um, even though I've got bitten to buggery by red ants doing that. So let's go outside and show you what the plan is. A little bit of breeze when you come out but not much. Got my parasol up. Uh, so we're not concentrating on this area um, at the minute. Um, this shed I've got to empty everything else out and then that's going next door to the neighbour. Um, as you can see, I took the roof off of there and uh, probably just going to fold that cage down for now. I'll probably use it somewhere, not sure where. So we have had a really clean up. This was the potato bed. Um, I've harvested all the potatoes, as you can see. I've, all, all the compost and the manure is there and uh, I'm putting them in bags to talk because all of these beds are coming up. This bed here, there's no compost or anything in there. So, so 
so all these beds will be going. Um, I'm going to have a compost bin down there, but not them sorts, I don't think. Um, actually, I might get rid of the green one. Uh, and I'll just keep the black one in the corner there, because that does fit nicely there. I did move all the strawberries into this bed, because this bed will be staying. So I'm going to get rid of the green one. This bed here is going to go down, and there's going to be about a foot path there then this bed's going to come down that bed's going to come down and that bed all going to come down and then we'll get another bed in the top that area there um it's wasted space so i'm going to take that to the dump clear all that area and there's going to be a nice compost bay in there uh, these water butts will be going so that will create there another bed uh, when I get all the stones out. Uh, these ground ones are going to be lifted up and going into the back because that's going to be the flower area. So these beds here are going to come over. So there's going to be a foot gap down here. So they're going to come over and then they create new beds where all the mountain ones are. So it's going to be an all winter job. Um, it's going to take a while to do. Uh, I have got some timber um, that I brought. Uh, this is just, well, not the top two, but the bottom. That's just um, decking, um, some decent lengths, which were just under a fiver. But yeah, um, these boxes here will be uh, break, broke down and used for the ceiling in the shed. Now, I've got a greenhouse, and I don't need it, to be honest with you, because... I've got this greenhouse here, which I need to clear out and get ready for next year. Plus I've got the polytunnel. Um, so I don't need another greenhouse. So that shed's gonna be going and all of this will be um, open up for growing space for flowers. So yeah, oh, really hot, really, really hot. So yeah, I do apologize for the lack of videos. Um, I did go live yesterday on Facebook, but the quality wasn't good, as uh, Wi-Fi up here, not the best. Um, here's my onions that I picked. They're all dried up and ready to be tied up and put in storage in the shed. Now here, what's going to happen here? So we've got um, a path coming all the way down here under that slab you can see where it starts right, it starts there right, so it's a very thin path so what we're going to do is put another slab just going down here and there will be a nice concrete slab path going down there and if there's gaps at the edges uh, we're going to uh, dig all that out put some fabric down and put some decorative stones so yeah so that's where we are at the moment like i say today we are just pottering about but this shed is absolutely brilliant there is a little bit over there that i still got bored um i've got i've got the the timber for that there but as you can see i have um, started boarding out the roof um, so yeah, right, so the shed is not square, I found that out when I was doing the roof, um, but nothing is square on an allotment. Oh, I'm just going to sit down in the shade, but it is so hot, and we've probably got this weather up until Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so yeah, Ooh. so I'm not going to be getting a lot done, not a lot of manual labour, it's basically just pottering about, tidying up, picking all these bits of wood up, and uh, bagging some rubbish up to take to the tip, and clearing that shed out. When it starts getting cooler, we're going to take that shed down, and like I say, that's going next door, because Bert next door had to give up, and uh, two young ladies have got that. 
Uh, yeah, so Gemma will be getting the shed. Um, I asked them a couple of days ago if they wanted the shed and they were so ecstatic. And as an added bonus, I'm going to give them that greenhouse that I took down because I don't need it. Because um, once I clear that greenhouse out, that'll be some good ground space for tomatoes and cucumbers. And I've got the poly tunnel for bringing seedlings on and that, so don't want too many structures on the allotment. So there is going to be a patio by the shed for the table and the chairs to sit down. But then uh, where that shed is, that's going to go. And we're going to have them round beds all dotted about. And uh, we're going to put do some flowers in there. So yeah. Okay, well, that's it for now. Um, I will come back uh, later on with a little update at the end of the day. Uh, I'm not sure how much we're going to get done because it's really, really, really hot today. Uh, but we'll see what we get done. And uh, this probably will be filmed over a couple of days because there's so much to do. Um, I won't be here tomorrow. Uh, the next day I'll be here will probably be Wednesday or Thursday. So this video will probably go up probably Friday. But yeah. Okay, well, catch you in a bit. Bye-bye for now. Well, guys, it's uh, come up the end of the day. It's half past four. And uh, oh, I'm knackered. But it's really hot today. As you can see, I filled that bit in there and I painted all that side. Um, we've also cut the grass. That's nice and that. Um, we also helped the neighbour here uh, take the old fence out and put some new posts in. And I've cut all this grass uh, just to tidy it up a bit. It's good to help your neighbour. And uh, I'll say I've cut all the way down here. I didn't want, uh, worry about collecting the grass. Um, I just done it quick, you know. And I've also cut here, but as you can see where mine is, it's a lot lower and clearer because I did collect the grass. Um, but yeah, it all tidies it up. Uh, so in, out here we haven't done much. Um, We've moved that compost bin out from there. Um, put all the grass and whatnot into that bin. Yeah, so uh, that's our little job done. Uh, uh, we've been pretty much just pottering about because it's been way too hot. We've done little bits in the shed, tidying up um, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, nothing major today. Uh, this shed, like I say, is going to the neighbour. Um, so when it starts to cool down, uh, we shall be um, taking that down. And I bet you there's loads of uh, mice living under it. Oh, let me take a seat. That's really hot today. Oh. So yeah, um, well, I didn't get much done, just little repair jobs here and there on the fence, and like that, a bit of painting up, but yeah, I'm going to start packing up now, uh, I need to get the mower and all the tools in the car, because obviously I don't leave all the power tools and that here overnight, uh, that goes into the car and comes home with me. Uh, so like I say, we won't be here tomorrow. We're going to have a, a little break tomorrow. Um, we'll next come up probably Wednesday. But if it's like this again, I'll just come up to water the, uh, the stuff that's in that need watering, like the strawberries and uh, the Acer, rhubarb and whatnot. Uh, but yeah. It's been a really slow day today. Um, I have actually sat down in the shade a lot, just chilling. 
because it has been really really hot today yeah so uh i will catch you on wednesday so see you then bye bye for now hey guys well it's now wednesday uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning been up here for about an hour um sorry about the wind it's uh, quite windy today which is nice because it is warm but it's still windy um but progress uh, we had a bit of a fire um last night uh, got rid of some of the stuff uh, a lot of the dry weeds we pulled out bindweed to mare's tail um, but a lot of it was still damp so we probably just gonna back that up and uh, through the night this caught fire um, but my neighbour put water on it before it got to the actual fence that was good of him must have been just a stray spark um, but what we're going to do is I pulled this out um, we can have a compost here quite a big one actually it's going to be long so yeah we can have a compost there so we've got to take all this out um, I need to cut that down and use we're going to use that as a fence somewhere um, we're going to have compost heap right in the corner where that black one is so I've got rid of the green one uh, that's over there for free uh, anyone to take I'm lifting up these round ones and getting all the good compost back in it up uh, to put back into beds when they're all done uh, the potato bed is nearly done I just need to bag um, all that up um, not keeping any because there wasn't any there uh, so we need to dig one two three beds out uh, I need to cut all this up to go into black bags uh, ready to go to the tip like I say all these water butts will be going and that's going to create another bed there um, now what I was thinking um, instead of just having one down here we're actually going to take this bed out and have three three up here so that's the plan and so we have to move them strawberries again if they die they die I'm not too worried uh, this round one this big round one's going at the back with the other big round one four uh, so one two of them and these two are going next door because I don't need them all so that'll leave me one two three um, to plant up uh, with flowers and that so that'd be nice uh, today we're working on finishing the painting of the shed let's go around here so we're painting the rest of this shed up, so we've just got a little bit at the bottom today. And we're also doing the back. So let's come through. As you can see, I gave this a nice coat. I need to finish all the posts off and that. But we are going to be painting this side as well. I uh, we need to get some brown gloss to do the window. Um, but I just want to show you my neighbour's peppers. That's just a normal pepper plant. It's amazing. So yeah, we cut all this grass out here. Yes, uh, not yesterday, the day before. I do want to start getting this all done. I've got these paving slabs to go down. See, there's a concrete path right underfoot. I'm just going to go off there and put slabs going down. And we've got some decorative stones. We've got to move all this timber. So yeah, uh, like I say, sorry about the wind noise, but it's supposed to rain um, later on. So first job on the list is get that shed finished painted up. That was the first port of call. And then we can uh, potter about emptying these. I need to transplant that rhubarb. 
I need to move these as well. I need to break them down and get them into the shed. They're going to be used for the, uh, the ceiling. Oh, there's all my timber there. For some extra beds. I need to make some extra beds. But yeah, but it's slowly going in the right direction. Um, this is probably going to be a really long project uh, to do and we'll be working on it through the winter. I did take a bag um, of the plastic away to the recycling. You know, I recycle all the plastic um, and that goes in the big recycling bin at home. So yeah, so we'll get back to you a little bit later on. Um, once we've made some progress so we're just going to finish my coffee and then we're going to finish up painting that shed so there's the, the tub we've got really big tub um, i put it into a little tub so it's more manageable um, but yeah that's what i'll probably do next year as well so if i paint that at least once a year it'll, it'll uh it'll be nice it'll they uh, clear. Oh yeah, so I'm going to crack on and I will catch up with you in a bit. Bye bye for now. Right guys, well, uh, what time is it? Just gone 20 past one and the heavens have just opened up. Uh, now I'm not sure how much we're going to get but I'll show you what I've done, been doing. So as you can tell, all down here down the path, I've tied it up. But I unveiled the concrete path that was here and I'm putting the slabs down. Um, so that'll make it nice and neat. Um, now there's going to be a gap either side with mud, so I'm going to be digging that out, putting liner in, and uh, putting in uh, some decorative stones. Oh, so yeah. Uh, we finished painting up the shed, all that's done now. As you can see that side's done and all the back's done. I've been painting up these, well I painted up one of them. I've got another one to do. And just general, you know, tidying up bits and bobs. We burnt quite a bit last night with the fire. Um, still a lot it's still damp and now it's gonna get wet but yeah uh, there was a spark and it spread over here luckily my neighbor saw it and uh, he actually uh, went next door and put some water over it so it didn't catch the fence so that was lucky so yeah we're hoping it's just a passing shower so we're gonna have a coffee break and uh, sit under the parasol and wade it out um, uh, so if there's any more progress I'll get back to you if not I'll just do a little outro and uh, we can get that posted so we're uh, catching a bit bye bye for now all right so uh, it's coming up to half three and we're going to call it a day here so we've put in three slabs not level but there do. So we've got the existing path, we've got a bit of a problem there. So we've got some cement and sand at home. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to bring that up once all the path's done to fill that in. And all down here there's a gap, so we're going to cement that as well. Um, we've also got the water butt in situ. Now I'll put a different one in because the tap snapped on that one. As you can see that is there, got a lid on and the hose pipe going in. Not hose pipe, uh, drain pipe probably. So yeah. So yeah, we got a bit done. Um, it did start raining. Um, didn't last long, but there is more on the way. So not much change around here. So you've got to get that into bin bags and take a tip. So yeah, but it's getting there. So yeah, um, 
So I've really been thinking about the uh, compost bins. So I was thinking, if I bring, take this up, right, we'll have enough room there to put three, maybe four nice sized compost bins in. And then we can, we can just put this one um, next, over, over there. So yeah, uh, so we gave one of these round things to Alf. As you can see here, well, we got to sieve that and put that into bags. Uh, four of them, so these two and two of the small ones are going to Gemma next door. So that leaves me with three of these small ones. And the big one, um, but that's perfect for me. And I'm going to have them out here and have some flowers in them. It will look nice. So yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Um, I'd say this was recorded over uh, three days. Um, yeah, we got quite a bit done. I'm, I'm pleased with that pathway. Now, I, I was just going to go over the top of it. Um, but... Uh, why, why not? Why cover it when you can utilise what the path that's already there? Just needs a good clean, good hose down. And that'll be sorted. So yeah, so we've got loads of timber there. Uh, that we was going to try to do a deck in. Um, but no, not going to do that. Uh, we are going to put um, use them boards on the outside of the plot. Oh, hang on a sec. Um, hang on. Do you want me to move the car? Yeah, yeah, I've been back. Right, guys, well, I've got to go move the car. Um, so I will catch you in the next episode. So, till next time, take care. God bless and happy gardening. <laughs>